So here we have recursion one count eleven. Um, the problem statement reads: Given a string, compute recursively, no loops, the number of eleven substrings in the string. The eleven substrings should not overlap. Um, okay, so let's go over the sample cases first. So here there is eleven A B C eleven. There are of course two occurrences of eleven, so we will return two. Here there are three recurrences of eleven, like so. So we will return three. And here, though it may seem like there are two occurrences of 11, like so, um, note that it says the substring should not overlap, therefore we will just return 1. So um, let's see how this might work recursively. So here is a case that um, I just created. Um, okay, so first we will get the first two, character, the two characters. Um, here there is 11, so we will add 1 to the count, and then we will continue forward with the rest of the string. Because it says they should not overlap, we will just go forward completely and skip the next two these two characters. Usually we just increment by one, but because here we cannot overlap, we cannot consider this character in the next string, therefore we will just continue with the next um, following that 11. Okay, so next there is, um, we have 1ax1c1. Um, the first two characters are 1a. That, of course, is not 11, so we add 0. And here, we will not be sk skipping to the next, the, to the third character. We will be just skipping to the next character because there is no 11. We will only be sp skipping to the third character if there is 11 because they cannot overlap. But here, we are not using this character. Therefore, this character is free game for the next. Next, we have AXT, 1C1, and of course, the first two characters, AX, are not 11, so we'll add 0 and continue forward. And I'll just finish this, um, the rest of this uh, without talking. Please pause the video, of course, if you have any questions. Um, if you are wondering why something may work and think about um, why it does, but it seems pretty straightforward, so I think you'll get it. And here, finally, we are left with C1. C1 is, of course, not 11, so we will have 0 to the count, and then we will have 1. When we, end, when we have a character with a length less than 2, we will just return 0, because we know that there are no more 11s left, because 11 requires a string that is greater than length 2. So let's implement that. So here, the base case, of course, if the length is less than 2, then we can just return 0. Else, we will get the first two characters. If the first two characters equals 11, we will add 1 to the count, and then we will continue forward with the rest of the string, skipping that 11. If um, that string does not equal 11, then we will just continue on with the rest of the string, skipping that character that we just saw. And here, remember that we are skipping only the first character, whereas here we're skipping the first and the second character. And there, it works.